Do you want to sell your product using Webinar? In this video, I want to share for you how you can build your evergreen or live webinar funnels using ClickFunnels. Hey, what's going on? Nick Tai here. So in this video, I want to show you how you can build your evergreen webinar or your live webinar using ClickFunnels. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go, go to the ClickFunnels so the first thing you want to do is you want to click on Add New. Then you click on Create New Funnel. Then you click on Host Webinar. Then you can choose which one you want to host, right? So if you want to run an evergreen webinar, you can just choose Webinar Replay. So we will use this one as an example, but basically the steps are the same. Then you just give it, them, give it a name. Then you click on build funnel. So there are four pages we have to work on for this funnel. So the first one is your auto webinar registration, right? So you can select a template and to start building a funnel. Now the, the steps for building a webinar funnel are basically the same as the way you build other funnels. But there's one major difference. It's actually you can, you can set up the time and you can also set up um, the auto email sequences after people register um, the webinar. So you can send them reminders after they sign up the webinar. So the way you go about that is you go to the setting and you go to the webinar setting. Then you can um, choose how often this webinar happens. So you can say, oh, it happens every 10 minutes, right? Then after you save that, When you preview it, it will just host every um, few minutes, right? So you, you can just um, use that as a way um, to build your whatever webinar, right? Then you can go to change those images and to change those like um, text there, right? So how to get your dream, maybe car. So after you set up everything, you just click on save. Then we can move on to the next step. So the next thing you want to work on is the automation, right? It's how we send out um, the confirmation emails to our um, registers. So the way um, just you can click on edit, then you can change the test here. So those are basically um, the reminder for people to, to join their webinar. So they will have um, many, many like uh, reminders here. So they have um, confirmation and they have like webinar starting now and like reminder that if they missed the webinar, they will like send them replayed as well. So you can see um, there's so many like um, um, email sequences you have to edit. Um, Right, so you have replay URL. So after you finish editing all those emails, you have to go to um, the webinar countdown page. So this page is basically the thank you page for webinar. So you can actually just pre-frame then and get them excited about what's going to happen in the webinar. So you can select uh, the template then you can add a page, right? So um, the, 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 how the webinar funnel work is that they will not get redirected to the webinar room unless um, it reach its countdown timer. So you, they have to be wait there for the time, right? So, so you can just add your videos here and you can just change everything here. So it's basically a really easy, it's, it's a drag and drop. So I don't explain too much here. But you get um, how you get the meaning, right? So the next one is you want to work on um, the broadcast room and the replay room, right? So you can choose uh, the template how you want the broadcast room to function. But there's one really cool feature I think you should um, 
really work on is the buy button. You want it to de be delayed, right? So I will tell you how you can set it up. So sometimes there will be a buy button, right? And this one, you don't want it to show up the time, like um, when people um, just enter the webinar room. You want them to show up after you start a pitching on the webinar. So the way you go about that is you want to go to um, advanced and you want to go to animation and you want to set up a delay time. Maybe they want to show up maybe at, if, at five minutes. If you start pitching after five minutes, you just set up a five minutes here. So if you save that, right, then when you enter the webinar room, you will not see those content there because it will delay until five minutes. And the best part of that is it makes your webinar less salesy, right? Because you don't want the people to to figure out whoa what's the offer right away. You want them to to wait to, to consume your content to get excited. Then you show them the offer. So that's one thing you need to set up in this kind in this page. So so another one is you can set your web uh, video to to be auto played, right? So it feel like it's play on live, right? Then you can um you can black pop, you can black pause, so people will not be able to really pause the video. It will be it will be more like a live webinar. So if you do that, um, you you can see people will have to click um this one to, to, to see the video. So it will be more like a live webinar because you cannot like stop the video right now. So that's two things you want to set up for the auto webinar, right? So it's basically the same for the replay page. So you can go to the replay page. And the one thing, um, one major difference with the replay page because since it's a replay, right? So you don't really need to uh, block um, the pause or you don't really need to um, set up so many auto uh, uh, auto play features because Pico knows it's a replay. But sometimes you do want to set up the, the delayed by button. So people will not feel you're so salesy or so peachy when it comes to um, webinar, right? So, so you still have to hide this one so you go to setting you go to advanced you go to an animation and you set up the time delay for this one so this is pretty much how you can create a evergreen webinar inside ClickFunnels. So if you want to learn more about how you can build a funnel using ClickFunnels, you can check a link below this video. So thanks for watching. I'll see you soon in the next one.